In Southeast Nigeria, the Abia state government has enjoined the people of the state to endeavour to pay their taxes and revenue using the only platform approved for such. Special Advisor to Governor Alex Oti on internally generated revenue, Chimereze Okebo, who confirmed to New Central's Chinwe Ogele in Umahia, said the state has officially crossed over to the single treasury account system. Here's the report. After three months of creating and designing a functional system accessible to all, Abia State Government says it has formally launched the single treasury account to help block all leakages of government's revenue. The system, which officially began on the 1st of September 2023, is aimed at harmonizing its accounts and revenue collections. According to the Special Advisor to the Governor on Internally Generated Revenue, Mr. Chimereze Okibu, everything has been put in place to make the system work better. The finances are scarce now. And a lot of things to be done. Uh, when the governor came into, uh, came into power, uh, we noticed a lot of uh, lapses, a lot of uh, leakages in the system, and a lot of things to be also done in the state. So he said to go the route and become intentional about making sure that uh, we synchronize all the state's uh, income, revenue, receipts into one central uh, funnel so that uh, we can have money to do what we need to do for the state. He also expects that all eligible taxpayers will comply with the new system to make revenue collection and payment stress-free. Like I said, that like somebody will die, somebody must also pay tax. So I encourage him like that to support the government because the intention is for good. Um, we need to get money so we can pay more salary, we can do a lot of things. Higher people are not to do a lot of things in the state. So I encourage him. The money are being shared. Um, um, it's all, we're also giving people assessments so they can know what they need to do. So we believe in the coming days we will comply so we'll be able to get more to do more. Some transporters confirmed they have already crossed over to the newly introduced tax system, which enables them to pay into the account with their various devices. Uh, the tickets that we are paying before the PDP is there is the reason. We are paying tickets. Sometimes we pay tickets of 600 because we pay it, pay it the other place, the other place, playing it every um, in different places. Six hundred every day. Uh, every day, sometimes five hundred, sometimes six hundred. But now we are paying, we are paying three hundred naira for a daily, and you can pay that three hundred naira to go everywhere you like. Even though I don't have work in government, but the things I'm seeing, the way things are moving since you get there, mommy, things are more better for other states now than before. With this, the government will not only be blocking leakages, but also identifying and tracing the sources of every cobble that accrues to the state. Chinwe Ugile reporting for News Central. Nigeria's Inspector General of Police and the Lagos State Governor have been urged to wade into an alleged defamation of character by vested interests in Lagos State. This comes amidst allegations of threat to life and intimidation against a real estate mogul in the state, speaking on the development legal practitioner Yakubo Eleto challenged a body tagged Lawyers Reform Group to substantiate and provide the public with concrete evidence supporting the allegations about those allegedly buried, including proof of their identities and the locations where they were purportedly exhumed. Right. On the 6th and 7th of September 2023, the social media was agog with a lot of image dampening videos and press conference addressed by some persons with media attack launched against the person of Honorable Said Mosa Doluwa, calling himself lots of ungodly names like criminal, like land grabbers. 